I'm Eric Bain, Curator of Aviation with Mike Massimino, former NASA astronaut and Senior Advisor of Space Programs at the Intrepid Museum. We're here today to give you a behind the scenes tour of the museum's Hubble at 25 exhibition. Mike and I are proud to be co-curators of the exhibition, which celebrates 25 years of the Hubble Space Telescope. Not only does this exhibition showcase the history, artifacts, and spectacular images of Hubble, but also includes some of Mike's personal experiences working on two Hubble repair missions. Let's go check it out. So we're very fortunate because NASA loaned us a handful of tools that were actually used on STS-125. And uh, Mike, can you tell us about this one? Yeah, this one, Eric, is uh, one of my favorites. And, and just to be clear, what we're looking at is something that actually flew in space. This tool was with us on board, launched on the space shuttle, was uh, a, a tool that flew in space, and now is re returned to the ground, and now its service is here at the museum to show people the kind of thing that we had on board, the kind of tools we had on board. The reason we developed this tool was because the Advanced Camera for Surveys and the Space Telescope Imaging Spectrograph, two big instruments about the size of a refrigerator, the power supplies went, they failed. So you can no longer power those instruments or use them. And it was, the, the power supply looked like a computer board inside of the instrument. And these instruments were locked down for launch on a space shuttle and never intended to be opened up again. So the access panel, for example, on the, the uh, on, on STIS, the, the spectrograph that I repaired, the access panel had over 100 small screws. The tool we had was a big power tool called the uh, pistol grip tool. It was a slower tool, the highest speed on it was 60 revolutions per minute. Um, and it was meant for big torque jobs, big bolts. So it had high torque, powerful tool. With these smaller screws, we thought we needed to be able to feel a little bit better, have a smaller, with more, more feedback, a smaller tool. We also felt like we needed something that was a little faster because we were gonna be doing this within the time frame of a spacewalk. So we wanted something that could go up to more like 200 RPM. We had a model that we used in the pool that was, that was kind of sealed tight so water couldn't get inside of it, so we could practice underwater with it. I used this tool for, for many, many hours on the ground, and then the actual flight tool in space I used for a few hours during my spacewalk. But it worked great. It, it did exactly what it was supposed to do. It gave us the opportunity to repair these two instruments that, uh, that would have been lost to us if it wasn't for this tool. Thanks for joining us on this behind the scenes tour of Hubble at 25. We hope you'll visit us soon here at the Intrepid Museum and check out this exhibition in person. And while you're looking at the exhibition, you can look up and see this magnificent space shuttle.